Action of 60 BBC years now on BBC One before the weather, this interlude. Thank you. 
The music, by the way, was Table Talk by Don Fondelinda and music Muse in Mayfair by Vivian Ellis. The Potter's Wheel, filmed at Guildford in Surrey, perhaps uh, the most faithful standby to the BBC television service in the 1950s, will be spinning again tomorrow lunchtime on BBC One at about five to one. Well, now, the weather, and here's Jack Scott. Hello. As far as weather was concerned, we were a divided nation today with uh, fine weather in the north of England there and uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland as well uh, under this ridge of high pressure and quite dirty, drizzly weather down here in the south as this cold front pushed a lot of cloud away southwards. It still hasn't cleared the country. There's a fair bit of this drizzly weather still in southern parts of the country, but the cold front is still moving away south, taking that dirty weather with it. And I think that during tomorrow we'll all be in the ridge area with this front not very far away from the southernmost part of the country. In fact the chart for noon tomorrow you can see there with the ridge well established over the country by then and becoming more and more established with time but still that uh, front near to southwestern parts. So as far as tonight's weather is concerned we still have this drizzly weather right along the southern part of the country here and I think it'll die out in most places the patches of drizzle and the cloud will move away. Uh, it'll be a long time before it gets away from most of these southwestern areas and the Channel Islands though during the night and we'll be left with fairly clear weather through the country. There will be some mist patches forming before the night is through and in some of the glens of Scotland it'll become pretty cold too. One or two showers remaining in the far north of Scotland but most people there having a dry night. And that particular feature reflected in tomorrow's weather because that northern half of Scotland and some western areas as well will have the odd few showers, sunshine in between them but many places in that particular area will get away with a dry day and it'll be a bright day with that sunshine around. Uh, pretty strong winds in the north though, but for the rest of the country it looks bright all the way and dry all the way as well. With one tiny exception, there's a possibility that down here in the far southwest, Cornwall, North Devon coast, uh, you might lose the sun from time to time, you might even get a spot of drizzle, but that's not a, absolutely a certainty. Temperatures in the southern half of the country will be that little bit higher than they were today. And then the outlook beyond that, well a little uh, more of that dry weather before in the north and in the west. Uh, it becomes cloudy with a little rain or drizzle. That's it. Good night to you. Accident report number 374. Male, householder, age 40. Standing on a stepladder to paint a high cornice. Not yet clear whether accident caused by his leaning too far sideways or, or whether steps not fully extended on floor. Ladder in poor condition and should not have been used without repair. John! Subject suffered concussion and a broken arm. That was a public information film. Thursday evening with BBC One brings something completely different. The inevitable way of prefacing Monty Python's Flying Circus, celebrating 60 BBC years at 6.25. Medical Express is at 6.55, then Top of the Pops at 7.25 with the Quest for Fame following at 8.10. After the 9 o'clock news at 9.25, Are We Being Served poses the age-old problem and raises the pensioners' banner on television licenses, bus concessions and the death grant. At 9.55, Des O'Connor tonight with his guests Bob Monkhouse, Karen Kay and Jimmy Walker. Alan Bleasdale's acclaimed play The Muscle Market is at 10.50 and at five past midnight, an interlude where the piano keys play themselves. And now it's four minutes past midnight, and BBC One is back in the morning at 20 past nine. Let me thank you for your company tonight, and from us at the BBC Television Centre, good night for now.